Hi, and welcome to Esprit's latest tips and tricks video. My name is Brent Addington, and I will be showing you how to index your spindle to avoid crashes and over-travel alarms while drilling and milling axially on your part. Traditionally, I would program this part using a wrap drilling or solid mill turn drilling operation. I would place one of these operations on a single P-top feature to drill the holes in one shot. However, looking at simulation, we could potentially run into an over-travel issue in the X-axis or a collision between machine components. This is where indexing your C-axis would be a favorable option to solving these two issues. A wrap drilling operation will clock the spindle in your X and Y axis, but the rotary angles of the spindle cannot be manipulated beyond this point. Now we'll show you how to index your spindle to any position to perform your operations. I will first delete my two drilling ops because I know that they will not give me the outcome that I desire. I'm going to start with the drilling first. As you can see, I have six individual P-top features. After selecting these, I will then apply a simplified mill turn drilling operation. There is nothing special inside of this operation, only the tool and depth are specified. Now that I see that all of my P-tops contain a drilling operation, I'll start simulation. Simulations show that I'm not quite finished editing. It appears that I will need to clock my spindle to around negative 45 degrees to have enough clearance to miss a lower turret. I'll need to exit simulation before going any further. Starting with my first operation, I will need to view my rotary angle section in the properties window. If your properties window is not currently present, you can simply click on view, then come down to properties. Selecting the C axis, I will begin by setting the angle to negative 45 degrees. I will then make edits to the following drilling operations. Knowing that each hole is 60 degrees off from one another, I'll need to add this amount to the initial negative 45 degree value from the first hole so the location will be the same for each consecutive hole in simulation. This means that operation number two will be at 15 degrees. Okay, now that all operations are edited, let's see how this looks in simulation. Looks much better. Finally, we can apply the same concept to milling operations such as contouring, pocketing, and even some 3D mold cycles such as Z-level finishing. After selecting my six chain profiles, I will then apply a solid mill turn contouring operation. Again, nothing special, only depth and tool were changed. Let's simulate. As you can see, I will need to adjust the C position for the contouring ops as well. I need to adjust my C-axis rotor angles similar to the way that I changed them in the drilling operations. The first op will be at negative 45 degrees. The second will be at negative 105 degrees and I'll continue editing for the remainder of the milling operations. Now I'll verify in simulation. Looks much better. The C-axis rotor angles can be observed in the properties box during simulation and can be referenced in the event that you need to make future edits. And that's today's Esprit Tips and Tricks video. We hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to visit our website at espritcam.com to subscribe to our newsletter for more videos. Stay tuned for other Esprit Tips and Tricks.